Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel. I'm in Spring Hill, Florida. This is Expressionist Fluid Art Studio. That is a layer, a wet layer, or a quickly drying layer of mead and, mead and black paint. This is abalone. I'm a Prism Pour affiliate. These are Prism Pour colors. That's a Prism Pour. This is Mayan gold, which I'm ready to make some more of. Like very shortly, evidently. I have a orange peel with gold shimmer in it, which is a prism, excuse me, primary element. I just let go of something that I need to get out of there. My tweezers that are on my Amazon link underneath show more along with the 20% off coupon code for prism pores and primary elements at color art. Now the question is what comes next? Oh yes, I've got some ginger peach. Which is not very different, but that's okay. And I have to decide. I have a new color called Warm Caramel. And it's from a primary element collection called Harvest, Harvest Moon. I'm being called to Parisian Teal. Another one from the new Harvest Moon collection. And I have an aubergine, and that's risky, but that's also from the new collection. Now I'm going to grab my spatula or this tool and try my hand at... spatula-ing or palette knifing or some variation on that theme some cell activator into place, which I may use some of this iridescent, Pebeo iridescent gold that I mixed with Australian Floetrol, which is questionable at best. I'm going to use Amsterdam black and Amsterdam white. And I see that thing in there. It needs to come out, I think. Yes, it does. So, I've got to make sure I know which way I'm going. This is a good place to start. I've got some some purple. Diaxazine purple. I'm going to think about using that. But I thought it would be cool to just try this right now. did something similar recently that I liked a lot. And I want to try it again. See if I might like my Pebeo iridescent blue violet cell activator. And I'm still thinking about that black um that purple. I'm not seeing too many cells from the gold, but I know that this the Mayan gold without any cell activator works quite nicely. It also helps if I get my bottles out of the way. But sometimes you get interesting interesting marks from accidents. I think it's time to use a different tool. Matter of fact, I think it's time to go a whole different aspect. I want to try white cell activator, purple cell activator, and this pink, which is the iridescent blue violet. And I've got a card. I was going to use that, but I'm not.
not 100% on these colors yet. But I think I can be brought around. I'm trying to decide what, if anything, I need. I'm just going to keep using different tools until I decide I'm happy with what I've got. Start with the dioxazine purple. Go for the white. There's the Mayan gold. Let's hope we can still get some out of there. Not sure of anything yet. I've got some agave blue and I'm thinking that might help me. wasn't stuck. Could be just time to mix up some more. I recently cleaned my studio which means it's a little hard to find things right at the moment but I'm gonna try anyway. It's an anything goes. anything except for the Mayan gold with a plug in the tip. Which is still not wanting to come out. So I'll just have to use something else. I will use the orange peel. I'd like to think I could save this, but I'm not overly convinced yet. I think it's really, really ugly right now. Luckily it's a black canvas underneath, which means I can pretty much do what I want. And that includes dragging my spatula across and removing paint at will. Which might become something really interesting <laughs> in spite of itself. This is some really cool cells. I might have picked questionable colors. I'm not sure that Parisian teal goes with the other colors I picked. But by the same token, I am having fun, so it's good therapy no matter what. And I have a couple good paintings from earlier today. And it could still work out. Kind of think it is. I'm a big fan of stripes. Good thing too.
That's pretty cool. <laughs> I went from hating it to liking it a lot. It's definitely a one of a kind for sure. Just picking up and putting down whatever my residuals. That's neat. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you for inspiring the heck out of me to not give up even in the face of adversity. And that was feeling like adversity big time. But like I said, I really like it now. And I'm not lying. I think twice before I use caramel with anything. But I pretty sure everything is savable if you just don't panic. <laughs> and I actually like the colors now. I'm going to give it one more. One more right through there. And right through there. And I'm about to call it good. This is neat. I don't know if it reminds me of animal stripes. There's giraffe. There's leopard or cheetah, whatever you want to call it. Two different animals entirely. All right. <laughs> that's pretty wild. From disaster to, uh, to that's really cool. All because of the spatula, really and truly. It'll probably just keep spreading for a while so who knows what it's going to look like before it's dry but I think it's still going to be interesting enough and I can keep using the paint on my spatula although I'm pretty sure I ought to call it good just put that right on the edge I like the little touches of uh, the Parisian teal after all they sort of uh, they pop it make it sing Spatula in the bucket, spatula save. I'm going to zoom in. You could do anything to this now. Could even pull a basting brush through it. I'm so surprised. <laughs> All right, so it's time. I like the colors. I was going to say I love the colors, but I'm just getting used to them, honestly. There's some amazing cells over here, and there's some really nice ones over there. And this is a really cool effect. Really, really neat patterns, and I think it's going to dry beautifully. And I've completely, completely, complete turnaround as far as my opinion. I will be torching to get rid of some bubbles, because there was no house paint in here, so I can do that. Don't forget the 20% off color art coupon code. Don't forget the thumbs up. Don't forget I love you. Thank you for the kind words in the comments that keep my morale boosted. I really appreciate them. Shop my Amazon link at no it cost you. It's on the link tree underneath show more along with the 20% off coupon code for color art. I do sell my art. My paint pouring recipes are below the video. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I do post at 2.15 Eastern Standard Time, 2.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. On my link tree, you'll find my website, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links. My Facebook group is Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. Uh, Expressionist Fluid Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group, I think. <laughs> I'm not positive. Pretty close. I changed it, and I'm not all that clear. I do give lessons at the house in Springville, Florida, and I do sell my artwork. I bet this one sells at some point. It's really outstanding, actually. it um, It's impactful and makes a wicked statement. So, I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Questions are welcome, and uh, I'm happy to help if I can. I give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida, and I do sell my artwork, and I love you guys. I want you to take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. If I said that twice, you'll forgive me. Uh, on my link tree, you might want to also, because Christmas is coming at this point, check the Gallerist and Society6. You could help me out, and you could be really happy with what you find there. It's all my stuff. And if you can't find what you're looking for, and you found a painting you'd like to see on the Gallerist or Society6 or Pinterest, excuse me, Pixels.com, Fire Night America, or even Spring Clothing underneath the video. Just ask me, and I can probably add that. I'd be happy to give it a try. Thank you guys for being here. I hope you come again. I'll see you anon. Bye for now. Priscilla out.